Halloween is one of those holidays that girls like to show a little more skin than they usually would on a typical night. So we're here today to show you how to get a tight end for your Halloween costume. <laughs> if you're trying to get a tight end for your Halloween costume, you can do it at home. If you have dumbbells or not, you can do all these exercises in your family room. So the first one that Tom and I are gonna do are toss left or toss right. So whatever I say for her to do is when she's gonna lunge and then toss either to the left or the right. So what I want her to do is get down into an athletic position, feet shoulder width apart. She's gonna lunge out and then toss to the left, lunge out, toss to the right. Make sure that you're twisting with your core and you stay tight. Good, all right. The second exercise that you're gonna do is down and out. It isolates the glutes and then also your balance. So what you wanna do is put all your weight into your heel, stand on one leg, do a single leg squat, make sure that your knee stays in line with your ankle, touch down, and then stand back up. So you go down, out, and back up. The third exercise that you're gonna do is your cardio piece. This exercise is called bump and run. So I want you to get down on the floor. Two, one, back up. Down, three, two, one, on the floor. Back up. Three, two, one on the floor. Back up. That was good. <laughs> the fourth exercise is fourth quarter crunches. So we're going to lay on our backs. So put your hands behind your head and you want your back pressed into the floor. So you just want your lower back pressed into the mat. And then you want to straighten your legs, crunch in, bring them all the way down, still pressing your lower back into the floor, and then crunching in. Fifth exercise bench warmer squat. So what you want to do is step away from your couch or chair, anything like that. Be about a foot away. You want enough room to sit back where your knees don't go over your toes and you want to stand up. Make sure that your knees stay in line with your ankles and you come back up. You're just touching down a little bit and then standing, put all your weight into your heels and stand. So Tom's making sure that his knees don't go over his toes and he's just warming up the bench and then standing up. Last one of the circuit is dumbbell touchdown. So you want to stand about three or four feet away from a dumbbell and you stand on one foot. You extend down, touch down, and come back up. You're just isolating your glutes, ankle stabilization, and your hamstrings. When you go down to make sure that you look forward and your back stays flat. One way to progress this is actually to hold the dumbbell. With your left arm, you're gonna balance, stand on your left leg and you're gonna bring it down, okay? Extend your back leg about parallel with the floor and then come back up. So for a complete workout, how many reps should I do with each exercise? We're gonna do 12 of each and we're gonna go through the entire circuit, so all six exercises, four times. Okay, so 12 reps, go through it four times, got it. Equals a tight end. 